Wow. Bro, no one does those like epic set pieces like Sony Santa Monica. No one. Hi guys, I'm Blau. I'm an ex-game developer and I worked on Among Us, Spider-Man, Valorant, and League of Legends. This is light survival. This is a lie. Everything that you're about to see is pre-alpha gameplay and is a work in progress that does not reflect the final quality of the game. This is not, this is not pre-alpha. This is not pre-alpha. They, they lied about that. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that. That is not pre-alpha. This is not pre-alpha. This isn't even alpha. This is well, well beyond alpha stage. This is not, no, this is not pre-alpha. Shut the fuck up. Ubisoft lying motherfuckers. Like the fact that they have like these like lens like fucking dirt on the your fucking camera. Yeah, pre-alpha is the new way to but but that being said, already the game is fucking dope. Already, because I think it does it hits on a really fucking good theme that we haven't gotten. Zombie games have been done out the wazoo. Too many fucking zombie games. There's also been a big uptake of like medieval games. The medieval aesthetic just doesn't it's been hard to deliver as a game, honestly. This looks fucking sick. For a game like this. It matters a lot. Like, things like animation and graphics do matter for a game like this. Like, bam. Click to finishing move to, like, fucking... Maybe the, he doesn't finish on this one, I think. Yeah, click the finisher. You can jab it through the, the fucking jaw. Like, oh. Be able to tackle him. And then, like, that kind of shit adds so much, like, grit and, like, fucking dude looks like he's panting, struggling to run around, looting the body. Like, ah, oh, this, yeah, this looks great. That's a great example. In pre-alpha, you wouldn't have an animation to, like, go through there. You just click a button and you just go to the next section. Going through the fences to hide the loading of the next area used loads... After God of War and other games used a movement animation to tight space inside of a loading screen instead of just a black screen. I mean, they might, you're right, they might already have that animation built in. Like, I understand that, Fear Bro, but I'm, what I'm saying is if you're in pre alpha, you don't necessarily have that in the game. Pre alpha is really fucking early. Like, there's a lot of like subtle details that you just would not have in your game yet. Okay, a little bit of sneak mechanics. Oh, you think he's got blight? Sometimes it's hard as a spy, yeah? Gets in your veins first. Clogs up your brain. Sneak attack, sneak attack. <laughs> There's one part about this game that makes me super excited for, by the way. So, if you look at the movement there, that's not an NPC. By the way, the way they stage this in the game is very obvious to show that it's another player. Yes, people are saying four-person multiplayer. That is going to make this game. That is going to make this game. What storyline does this game have? We don't know yet. I mean, my guess is uh, a plague hits medieval Europe. It's called the Blight, and it turns people into basically zombies. Looking at this, it looks like we have Cordyceps virus, some sort of fungal infection. By the way, of all zombie games and like zombie explanations, my favorite telling of like zombie apocalypse disease is The Last of Us. I think grounding it in a in a actual fungus that like does some fucking creepy zombie like shit already to ants was fucking dope. Fungal infection is probably the coolest version of this cuz we'll watch the video after this so as you don't know there's the cordyceps fungus that actually does this. It ba it turns ants into zombies and basically mind controls them to go to a very certain point where it then forces them to die, let the fungus grow, and that releases its spores to more. Nice black bars, cinematic effects. Light survival. That was sick. Still need to play Dead Space. Anyways, I'm really excited for Blight. Basically, uh, medieval zombies. Like, yeah, give me this. This looks fucking amazing. It's next, we're gonna be checking out God of War. Excited to see this. Everyone keeps secrets. I know you. God killer. 
What is it? You is this on PC or is this uh, just P is this PS5 exclusive? You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? Do you guys want me to stream this? Because, see, uh, listen, if I was, like, a viewer, if I was a viewer, I would want to watch a streamer play this because I might not have a PS5 or I might not get day one. And this is a game where it's actually probably fun to watch. I I'll, I'll plan a God of War stream. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. Sure about that? Pretender God! For the old father! Death can have me when it burns me. What do you even know of God in your lifetimes? Has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Dude, the voiceover of this part so good. Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Wow. No one does those like epic set pieces like Sony Santa Monica. No one. That, this kind of shit. This and where is it? No one does that shit like that. Oh my God. We're streaming this next week. We're streaming this next week. I'll, I'll do a fucking 24 hour for it. Fuck it. There are epic moments in in video games, and there's always those big epic set pieces and like crazy moments of that. No one does it like Sony Santa Monica. That was what the original God of War crushed at, and they have continued to like up that every single time they do it.